Morning, welcome morning prayer here on uh, Saturday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Give glory to God our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 149. Hallelujah. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in his, in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful in their beds. Let the praises of God be in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand. To erect vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron. To inflict on them the judgment decree. This is the glory of all his faithful people. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Lord, let Israel rejoice in you and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. In your loving kindness, embrace us now that we may proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation with your saints in glory through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, our reading continues today in Samuel, 1 Samuel, the 22nd chapter, beginning with verse 1. David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and all his father's house heard it, they went down there to him. And every one who was in distress and every one who was in debt and every one who was discontented gathered to him, and he became a captain over them. And there were with him about 400 men. And David went through there to Mizpah of Moab. And he said to the king of Moab, Pray, let my father and my mother stay with you till I know that God will uh, know what God will do with me. Uh, for me. And he left them with the king of Moab, and they stayed with him for all the time that David was in the stronghold. Then the prophet Gad said to David, Do not remain in a stronghold. Depart and go into the land of Judah. So David departed and went into the forest of Herod. Now Saul heard that David was discovered, and that men who were with him. Saul was sitting in Gibeah under the uh, tam uh, tamarisk tree. On the height, with his spear in his hand, and all his servants were surrounding about him. And Saul said to his servants who stood about him, Here now, you Benjaminites, will the son of Jesse give every, uh, give every one of you fields and vineyards? Will he make you all comrades of thousands and commanders of hundreds that, uh, that all of you have conspired against me? No one discloses to me when my son makes a, le a league with the son of Jesse. None of you is uh, sorry. For me, or discloses to me that my son has stirred up my servants against me to lie in wait as in this day. Then answered Doak the Edomite, who stood by the servants of Saul. I saw the son of Jesse coming to Nob, to Ahimelech, the son of Ahitub, and he inquired of the Lord for him, and gave him provisions, and gave him the sword of Goliath the Philistine. Then the king sent to summon Ahimelech, the uh, priest, the son of Hatob, and all his father's house, and the priests who were at Nob. And all of them came to the king, and Saul said, Here now, son of Hatob. And he answered, Here I am, my lord. And Saul said to him, Why have you conspired against me, you and the son of Jesse, in that you have given him bread and a sword, and have inquired of God for him? 
so that he has risen against me to lie in wait and at this, uh, as at this day. Then Helamelech answered the king, And who among all your servants is so faithful as David, who is the king's son-in-law and captain over your bodyguard and honored in your house? Is today the first time that I have inquired of God for him? No, let not the king impute anything to his servant or to all his house of my father, for his servants has known nothing of all this, much or little. And the king said, You shall surely die. And Hamalak said, And all his father's house. And the king said to the guard who stood by after him, Turn and kill the priests of the Lord, because their hand also is with David. And they knew that, uh, that he fled, and he did not disclose it to me. But the servants of the king would not put forth their hand to fall upon the priests of the Lord. Then the king said to Doeg, You turn and fall upon the priests. And Doeg the Edomite turned and fell upon the priests, and he killed on that day eighty-five persons who were in the linen ephod. And Nob, the city of the priests, he put to the sword, both men and women, children and sucklings, oxen, asses, and sheep, he put to the sword. But one of the sons of Amalek, the son of Atub, named Abimethar, escaped and fled after David. And Abimethar told David that Saul had killed the priests of the Lord. And David said to Abimethar, I knew on that day when Doeg the Edomite was there that he would surely tell Saul, I have occasioned the death of all the persons of the father's house. Stay with me, fear not, for he that seeks my life seeks your life. With me you shall be in safe keeping. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Well, evil certainly entered into Saul, did it not? Um, our second reading comes from Acts, the 13th chapter, beginning with verse 26. Brethren, sons of the family of Abraham and those among you that fear God, to us has been sent the message of the salvation for those who live in Jerusalem and their rulers, because they did not recognize him nor understand the utterances of the prophets which are real, uh, which uh, are read every Sabbath, fulfill the, these by condemning him, though they they could charge him with nothing deserving death, yet they asked Pilate, and have and and have him killed, and when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in the tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem who are now as witnesses to the peoples. And we bring you the good news that what God promised to fathers, this has fulfilled to us, their children, by raising Jesus, as also is written in the second Psalm. Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. And as for the fact that they raised him from the dead, no more to return to corruption, he spoke to in this way, I will give you the holy and sure blessings of David. Therefore, he says also in another Psalm, Thou wilt not let thy Holy One see corruption. For David, after he had served the counsel of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid with his fathers and said and saw corruption. But he whom God raised up, so, uh, up saw no corruption. Let it be known to you, therefore, brethren, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you, and by him everyone that believes is freed from everything from which you have not been freed by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, lest there come upon you what is said of the prophets. Behold, you scoffers and wonders and perish, for I do not, uh, for I do a deed in your days, a deed you will never believe if you declare, uh, if if one declares it to you. As this went out, the people begged that these things might behold them the next Sabbath, and when the meeting of the Sabbath broke up. Many Jews and devout converts of, uh, converts of Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The beautiful story of Paul and his teachings in the synagogues is everywhere he went, people heard God's word. Uh, oh, I dropped my paper. Uh, in many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Glory. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. Oh. <laughs> now, let us pray. Well, we still have to give glory to God, our yeah, light, and our right. life. <laughs> let us pray. Oh, God, you are our, our advocate and friend. Give us sensitive souls today in the presence of your word, and may its precepts and saving power find a lasting place in our lives. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Lord, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, come. thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining Tom and I on this Saturday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.